It's the hottest tourist attraction in Dallas, an endless stream of gawkers peeking in on what's expected to be President Bush's new home. I think it's great. We love Bush. We're, we're glad to have him back in Dallas. Get your hot chocolate. The current homeowners aren't talking, but their kids are cashing in. $1. Selling hot chocolate, about $100 in profit so far. This is life when a president moves next door. Well, thank you, sweetie. Doug Fletcher lives across the street and says the Bush family will love the neighborhood. It's quiet, very quiet. You know, people tend to mind their own business and, uh, you know, help out each other if they need it. So I think that's probably where he'd like to live. The first family already has visions of a simpler life here. She's got this great uh, idyllic vision of me, kind of with the little apron. Yeah, says, exactly, with the new barbecue tools. says Barney's dead on it, you know, <laughs> flipping burgers. The five-bedroom, 8,500-square-foot home is tucked away in a quiet cul-de-sac. The house sold for $3 million, but in this neighborhood, that's considered low-end. People here have estates. The Bush's new neighbors include Mark Cuban and Ross Perot. This is a majestic cocoon of wealth. But real estate agent Doug Newby says the Bush's home is not gaudy. This is a very quiet, subtle house. It's been renovated in a contemporary fashion. Lots of Republicans in Preston Hollow too, which makes it safe for a president with dismal approval ratings. The big rumor in town is where is Cindy Sheehan gonna live? But Skip Hollinsworth, who's written several profiles of the Bush family for Texas Monthly Magazine says, Bush isn't coming home to the same Dallas he left 14 years ago. No matter where he goes, he is not going to be met with adoring crowds. There are going to be just as many people sticking their fingers out the window at him when the motorcade drives by, even in Dallas. As soon as the Bush family gets settled into their new home, President Bush says he will begin writing his memoirs and working on his library, which is just down the road. And Laura Bush says she looks forward to doing a lot of volunteer work. Ed Lavendera, CNN, Dallas.